I'm John Ilsley and uh, founder member of Dire Straits from quite a long time ago. And um, I've been a musician all that time, but I started painting quite seriously in 1992. Well, I got an email from uh, Paul and he, was, he outlined the project and I, I wrote back to him and I said, that's pretty ambitious. Um, because trying to get hold of uh, people in the music business uh, is, I know it's difficult uh, because everybody's very busy doing their own thing and they travel a lot and they live in different countries. So I thought, well, you know, it's, um, I think because the Beatles connection may probably sit up and people sit up and listen and uh, think, well, can they do it? And of course, it was an interesting brief and uh, so there we are, that's how it all started. Well, my initial reaction was, um, as, I, as I said, it was, it, I think it was a kind of a brave thing to do because um, I know what it, I, I have involved, got myself involved in charity things in the past and they are unbelievably time consuming. You spend a hell of a lot of time organizing people, trying to get people to contribute. And I believe that they've been very successful, Paul's been very successful in getting a lot of help with this, which is great and I think that you know, once you get a few people on board, then um, the wheels start to turn. I, I, I use the analogy of Live Aid because essentially Bob was really struggling to get people to play at Live Aid, but he said, no, I'm not who else is doing it, sort of thing, you know. And of course, as soon as one person said, that, or a major person said, they're going to do it, everybody says, oh, well, maybe I'll do that. Too. And then it just the, the, it snowballed. And that's, the, that's what you have to do with these things, is you have to get somebody a name interested and then everybody says oh yeah well if they're doing it I'll do it you know so this box arrives and it's just about got everything you could possibly need to do something with but of course I usually paint in oils I don't use acrylics at all or watercolor so this was the first time I've ever done an acrylic painting I know it's or a watercolor painting ever so it was quite an experience for me to start using the paints and think well, well how do these things work you know, with oil, I kind of understand the process. And so big sheets of paper and lots of ideas and a lot of things thrown away. <laughs> start again, okay. And gradually, you know, images start to appear and things start to work. But that's the way that I work with my own paintings. I tend to let um, things just flow. I, I try and let my mind be dead if you know what I mean, like take all the senses out that I'm thinking of and just let ideas come as they come and marks and shapes and all the rest of it. And then gradually, you know, the thing evolves. It took quite a long time actually, longer than I would normally take on something, but I thought it was worth the time spent on it. I would say if I was to count all the hours of it, it was probably about four or five days, which is quite a long time for me. I, when, I, when I do something, I usually do it quite quickly. Well, the first thing that, of course, strikes you is the variety. Um, people have come at it with all sorts of different uh, ideas and notions, and I'm looking at uh, Florence Welsh is over there, and she's obviously done that on her own, you know, and other guys have done the corners like the Beatles did, and I rather like, um, uh, you know, Elvis Costello's one, I rather, rather like that one, that really works very well. He's obviously done a bit of painting, I think. but. What's interesting is that people say, oh, I can't paint, you know, I can't draw a straight line. Well, don't ever try and draw a straight line, that's incredibly boring. And, you know, but there's such a, a, a remarkable sort of attempt to make something happen, which I think is really good, you know, because it tests you to make something worthwhile that somebody else wants to look at. You know, I don't know whether Paul's had a few and gone, Oh, this is not, I don't know what I'm going to do with this, or whether he's taking them all in frame. I've no idea. I haven't even spoken to him about that. But you know, you're going to get a big assortment when you ask all those different characters to respond to something like this. I'd actually started painting when I was about 15, when I was at school. I had a very incredibly good uh, art master who really stimulated me, and that really coincided with picking the guitar up. So the two things were running parallel. But when the Straits thing happened, you know, basically you just run with the. You run with it, and um, and then when Mark and I decided to uh, call it a day in '92, '93, I thought, okay, this is an opportunity to do the other thing. So I bought myself a studio. Well, 
you know, room <laughs> and uh, set about trying to be a painter. And that's really what I've been doing ever since, to be honest. I've done five solo shows in London. Uh, I've done a show in New York, show in Sydney, show in Singapore, show in southern France, uh, yeah. I still write and I go out with some guys every year to do some touring just to keep myself amused and it's great fun, just on that very small level. But really, um, I think if I'm honest, the art has really, in a sense, taken over my thinking time, you know. And I'm, I'm like Leonard Cohen, a very slow writer, so an album will take two or three years to put together. Well, I'd just like to wish the project the very best and good luck with it all. I hope you raise loads of money. Two very worthwhile charities. There's lots of charities, but these two are pretty worthwhile. I like the fact that children and music, that makes sense to me.